Hello friends, in this video lecture, we will learn how we can use write cell activity of UI path. So write cell and read cell, both the activities is related to uh, Excel operation. So for that, we have, first of all, we have to open the Excel file. So if you are performing any operation in Excel file, so for that, first of all, you have to use Excel application scope activity. So here just you can see that one sequence is there and inside the sequence one uh, so the name of your sequence is here just you can see display name that is read cell and inside the sequence excel application scope uh, activity is there and with the help of this activity just we are uh, uh, accessing the file named as a.xlsx okay this file is stored in my desktop so just i am you uh, just i have passed the path of that file okay after then just i am trying to read the data of a particular cell so the number of cell is d8 and this shell is existing seat number 1 and now i uh, means uh, after execution of this read cell activity data is stored in a variable and what is the name of that variable? So variable name is cell value. Here you can see that. Okay. Now one message box is there. So message box is to display the information stored inside cell value variable. Now I want to write the content available at D8 in same sheet in a different location, let's say F2. Okay. So I am writing, I am adding write cell activity. So write cell activity is inside the scope of Excel application scope. It means whatever operation is performed by write cell activity that is with respect to a dot Excel SX. Now here I am writing. So what I have to write. So just simply I have to pass. So here I am writing cell value. Okay. And where I have to put the content, so let's say F2. So before execution of uh, this sequence, just we check the what is the content play available in F2. So here just you can see that column F and row number 2, there is no information. So I am executing it and we see what is the output. Okay, so here you can see that in uh, Excel file a dot xlsx at uh, position F2, the content is written that is MA. And from where we got this MA? So MA is also available at here you, you can see that at position D8. So again we check it. Okay, so this is D8. Yes, you can see from here D8 and the same information is written at F2 location. Now, so let's say anyone is there who wants to write the content in different Excel file. So let's say one another Excel file is there. In sheet two, in the Excel file, there is no content. And I would like to write some information or you can say that fetch the information in F2 location. So how I can perform this operation, just you can see that. So for that, I have to open a different Excel file. So if you want to open a different Excel file, then you have to go with another Excel application scope. And here I have to pass the name of the file. So just I am copying the file here, just you can see that. Okay. Okay, so previously the name of the file is a.xlsx. Here just you can see. Now the name of the file is b.xlsx. Okay, now I want to perform the write operation on a particular cell value. So simply what you can do, just you drag the write cell activity, drop here and i want to write the information in seat number two where f2 location okay so first of all i have to change 
the seat number and here f2 okay so i am writing it f2 what i have to write so i have to write the cell value actually cell value is the variable which is storing the result of read cell activity so here simply i can write cell value now you can see that there is an error so error is due to right cell activity what is the error so here you can see that okay so read cell okay so just you check the variable so variable cell value is there and what is the scope of this variable so that is 2 so we have to change the scope of this variable so simply you can click at here and change it to read cell okay now you can see that there is no error again I'm checking the v.xlx no value is available at uh, position f2 now I am executing the sequence okay so now I am executing the sequence and we see what is the output so just running so this is the output uh, from previous one and we open uh, the excel file b dot excel sx so here you can see that this is the file b dot excel sx this is your seat number two this is your cell number f2 so whatever content we have read using read cell activity that is written right here so write the same data in different excel file so hope all of you are able to understand the concept how you can use read cell okay